<laughs> Hello everybody, it's Bill, the knee pain guru, and today we're going to talk about, uh, actually, it's um, a friend of mine, uh, Hillaway, sent me an article. Um, Study proves stem cell, stem cell paste graft therapy critical to rebuilding cartilage. It's essentially an advertisement. But it's talking about regrowing cartilage um, in a damaged knee joint. And there's a couple of things in this article that goes on some, uh, it's like assumptions about what the body can't do. And I don't agree with them. Uh, they're talking about articular cartilage, uh, paste grafting, um, produces superior tissue to an alternative cartilage regeneration technique, microfracture. So they're talking about two different approaches to regrowing cartilage in the knee. One is called microfracture. Um, the other is this new latest and greatest technique called articular cartilage paste grafting. So the microfracture is essentially like uh, either drilling a hole or doing some sort of um, micro trauma to the cartilage to um, produce blood flow and the body's production of stem cells and stuff like that. They will go and begin to regrow the cartilage back. And then you have this other technique, which is this paste type of thing. Um, it uses the patient's own stem cells, cartilage, and bone to repair arthritic defects in the knee joint. Meanwhile, the microfracture technique makes holes in the bone to create bleeding, which releases marrow cells in the defect in order to prompt the growth of cartilage. Uh, the big thing is, you know, the, this pace graft uh, pr presents um, stem cells. There's stem cells in this paste, which help grow the cartilage and things like that. Um, regrowing, the article goes on to talk about the regrowth of articular cartilage has long been a goal of orthopedic surgeons around the world. And um, then they make the statement, when articular cartilage is damaged, it cannot heal by itself and unless treated will inev inevitably end up in arthritis. This is where I call kind of BS on the whole thing because it's starting with an argument of at like B, like we're not talking about A. We're not talking about the factors that are going into the setting up of arthritis to, to be created in the knee joint. It's not talking about uh, the conditions that need to be set up in the body so the body can heal the articular cartilage. It's already making the assumption the articular cartilage is damaged, the body can't do anything about it, and now we're going to do this latest and greatest technique, whether it be microfracture, whether it be this paste approach that has stem cells injected into it, that it's going to regrow cartilage. I will hear, I will work with clients that say continually, uh, the doctors told me that cartilage can't heal itself. Well, either it can or it can't. If it, if it can't, then none of these procedures are going to make a difference either because cartilage can't heal itself. And if it can, then it would make sense that the body is able to do it on its own and it doesn't need the help of a traumatic procedure that would go into the knee, drill a hole in the knee and put this in on the cartilage. Like, it doesn't make sense. It's not consistent in the argument. Now, with here, here's the, the piece that's a little bit, they're giving you two options. The, the medical profession, the surgeons are giving you two options, and they're not even the best option available. Your body is the best option available, that it can heal what's going on. Your body produces stem cells. Your body regenerates every cell in the body every seven years. So if there is something happening in your knee joint perpetuating this growth of arthritis in your knee, 
it goes to prove that there's something going on in your body. The conditions aren't set up correctly that it would be able to heal itself. And what I'm bringing to the table is the understanding of a sympathetic or parasympathetic response in the body that causes the knee joint to wear at that point. Right? So the body experiences pain. The articular cartilage is damaged, which means something happened that was a trauma, an injury, an accident, something to cause the body to tense up to protect itself. So when that happens, there is a sympathetic response, a fight or flight response. The body tenses up to protect itself, and when the body does that to protect itself, it reduces the space in the joint. Normal natural response to an injury and accident. Now you go back into your life and it's this irritation is happening, causing the body to, to tense up. The more that hurts, the more your, your knee tenses up. Once again, normal natural response. But that sets up the conditions to make it very difficult for the knee to heal. So everything the doctors are saying are correct to the point of taking the nervous system out of the equation that this tension in the joint is causing the deterioration of the joint. We start creating comfort in the joint, the joint relaxes. So what happens? There's a little bit of space created because there's relief experienced in the knee. My problem with microfracture technique or this uh, paste graft type of approach is that it's not addressing the pattern that is causing the joint to wear to begin with. You may have some results because you're putting like good stuff in there. I'm not denying that this isn't good stuff. But anytime you do a surgery, you expose the inside of the body to outside factors, viruses and bacteria. You create another trauma in the knee joint. You create another whole host of issues trying to correct the thing that the body is able to heal on its own. So, uh, let's see. They talk about, I'll put the link to this article in there, but what's really interesting is at the end of it, it says, if you have damaged your articular cartilage, the bearing surface inside the joint, you may be experiencing pain and swelling. At the Stone Clinic in San Francisco, Dr. Kevin Stone has developed a technique called articular cartilage paste graft, which uses your own bone, cartilage, and stem cells to create repair tissue which can be pasted over that damaged surface. Here's your advertisement. And, and it's great. He may get great results, but what I'm saying is that there's another option that doesn't involve surgery, that has the your, your body's own ability to heal what's going on in the knee. So that is my take on that article. Thank you, Hillaway, for uh, sending that over to me. If you have any questions, anything about my approach, um, enter it in the comments below. Um, I'll get the notification of that. Uh, like this video. Subscribe to my channel, The Knee Pain Guru. Share this video with others that you know that are suffering with arthritis, bone on bone, knee pain, anything where nothing is broken or torn in the knee. That's my area of expertise, relieving the body of physical pain. So thank you so much for being here. It's, been, it's a pleasure to serve, um, and I will see you on the next video.